Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Funnels from CZT Margaret Bremner. If you have ever done the Tangles Cadent and Huggins, I think you're going to like this. I think and I hope that you're going to like this because this is kind of a mashup of both of them. So fair warning. Um, it, it, you know, could hurt the brain a little bit. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this one rather big. So I am working on a two by two bijou tile. And this one starts off with a grid of orbs. So that's what I am laying out right here for you. And again, I, and I, this, this will work just fine as a good example. All right. So once you have your space filled out, we're going to do the S shape. So this one, as I mentioned, it's a mashup between the two of them. So you have, this is one of those where you really have to look at the step outs and watch which direction that you're going. So we're going to start out like in cadent with S shapes. And we're going to do the take off and land concept. So the take off and land, for those that don't know, is we're going to, we're going to use a little bit, we're going to trace the orb. So we're, we're going to trace a little bit. That's going to be like our, our, uh, our, uh, runway. <laughs> and then, you know, then we do our shape and then the landing pad is over here. So we're tracing over it because it's a completely different look than if you just put made an S because usually it would come out of the side here and go to the side here. That's not what we want. We want to trace over. So I'm going to do that now. So we're taking off and we are landing. Okay. And we'll do that again. And we're going to make a column of these. So we're going down. In an S shape, you know, going from uh, starting off and we're aiming to the left and then to the right as an S shape would. Okay, then we're going to skip a column. Actually, I'm going to flip my tile because when you flip your tile, it's the same thing. Um, it's just flipped. All right, because that way then you can see. All right, so same thing. So skipping a, skipping a column. Taking off and landing. So doing a chain of these S shapes going all the way down. So however big your grid is, you know, you're just going to do chains of these, skipping a column. Now, this column though, the one, so the ones you skip, so when you finish those, the ones that you skipped, we're going to do it mirror image. So going backwards. So where the S goes from left to right in the curve, we're going to go from right to left. So we're going to start off the takeoff and land from the opposite direction. And usually this hurts my brain but that's okay because it's just for whatever reason doing something opposite is just when you're used to doing it a certain way is difficult okay so s opposite s so that so your columns uh that's how they will be alternating that now the next step is where huggins comes in and similar idea where um we're going to do the takeoff and land, but this is a little bit different. So if you, um, so in Huggins, I do believe I have, I'm going to double check, but I do believe I have videos of both. So you can search on the channel to see. Um, so this is just a curved line going from orb to orb. So we're going to, oh, and let me, let me also explain. So okay, looking at it this way, you have the outside Right, so this is where we're going on the outside, and then here is where the curve is on the inside. So looking at the outside, that is where your curved line is going to be, and we're going to go up. Okay, so just like this, so we're taking off and we're landing here. And then, this is what's different, is that we're doing the same direction all here. So like here, I, I, my curve is going to the left, the way I'm drawing it right now. So we're the same direction. So it's the same stroke all the way up. All the way up or all the way, whichever, depending on which way you're holding your tile. Mine is kind of going across. Okay, and then we're going to do that again here. I'm going to turn my tile so that way I have my, my, so my curved line is kind of in my hand here. So again, looking at where the, uh, where the curved, where the S shapes are on the outside, 
that's where we're going to make our this curve shape taking off and landing same thing here and again we're staying in that same direction where as far as with how the curve goes because in Huggins we would be normally well actually look at it, it does go over under over under but that's not the way we're doing it we're doing it you know in column so it's always the same direction so in some respects that makes it a little easier now the last step that we have is just a little bit of little bit of decoration so in so and I'm, I'm putting mine upside down because I want to draw it this way so where your if you have it where your curved line is curving up we're just going to draw like three little squiggly lines like this one in the middle long and the other two on either side short so long short short they can go um you know is oh let's see i mean they can they can be how you want them to be because this is really kind of the decorating part but this was part of of uh, in margaret's step out so just like that and that's it now this one is some there are some tangles that well and maybe it's just in my opinion look better smaller and i will uh, share with you an example of that one thing i want to do first is to share now you can color these the the orbs in or not that is entirely up to you or you can do something you know different so you could so like mine are messing normally i would just color that in but i think i'm just going to put a little i'm going to start off with a little dot here just in the center because i feel like it i don't sometimes i've, I've done that before i don't do this too often so that's why i thought well that's what we do oh now that one looks like an eyeball oh my goodness maybe i'll fill them all in <laughs> So let me share some shading with you. Um, on this one, I'm just going to, on these curved lines where we have put these squiggles, I'm going to add a bit of graphite. And the example that I will share um, has, um, is, is smaller. So that way you can see what it looks like if you do them a little bit smaller. The, the only caution point, of course, is when we do things small, you know, it's fine. It just, it takes, takes longer to do and I'm taking my tortilla on and we're gonna just smudge this around okay those now, now they look like weird fish I'm gonna have to color them in <laughs> sometimes sometimes the things that get in your head oh my gosh <laughs> it's just terrible oh my goodness all right, because it's going to just bother me because now I feel like they're all looking at me. <laughs> but you know what? This is what is cool about doing things in stages. So say, oh, I'm going to try this. And then if you don't like it, you know, you always kind of work towards the the maximum thing, which would be filling the whole darn thing in. Um, but that way we can play and we can experiment in a safe environment because we know that ultimately if we don't like it we can fill it in we can do a little Bronx cheer type thing there's lots of things that we can do all right so there we have it it is just as simple as that now I, I did do another one because I wanted to play with uh, shading on the sides so what I did was I added some uh, some graphite just here you know in the wide side and I thought, well, that kind of looks neat as well. Um, and then, as promised, this is one that uh, I did some time ago. And so this one is done, obviously, much smaller. This is the regular three and a half inch uh, Zentangle tile. And then on the sides is a tangle called Dragonair, and which is neat because it totally ties in with this because it's it's similar in that you know we have the orbs, we have S shapes and curved lines. I have to do a video on that one still. Um, so it just looks neat. And then I used. Um, um, I think a metallic pen for coloring in those orbs, which is kind of neat. It just adds that nice, it's a nice little delicate uh, touch of color. Um, and I think that makes it look really, really neat. So, um, yeah, so there we have it. We have funnels, neat, neat tangle by CZT Margaret Bremner. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
uh, thumbs up are are always nice. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, feel free to put those in the comment section. In the description box, I will put in the step out as well as uh, there's ways uh, if you want to uh, to connect with me, website uh, for Zentangle Supplies, um, uh, classes, such things like that. So with that, I wish you very happy tangling. <laughs>